everything off a tofu tree has really been proven to be healthy. <laughs> Look, hey, I, 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 since we're going down this road, we may as well. Why not? It's, it's Keith's shitty road. Uh, yes, I admit, that was my first try. It failed miserably. I mm-hmm. did not know what I was doing at all. I didn't seek any help, much like I don't in my real life. I just fucking said, oh, I can understand this. Clearly, I'm, I got up to like 270 pounds. I know how to eat properly. <laughs> Fuck am I worried about? Uh, it's pretty shitty when your scale says no, it's too much. <laughs> like when it goes back to zero, you're like, I gotta, this needs to get fixed. Right. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it's like to grow up in the 80s? And he has sitcoms and where's the beef ladies? Then you need to listen in your car or at work. Now it's time for Keith is a everybody welcome to another episode of keith is a jerk i am your host keith and joining me as always are my co-hosts we got ryan back what are you saying ryan i came to get down i came to get down so get out your seat and jump around jump around (laughs) (laughs) and uh discussed on the other end dave uh hit him with something there please Uh, i would like to hit him with many things but i'll just leave that be (laughs) Amazing. So, uh, okay, last week uh, we had a good topic uh, talking about our future. Unfortunately, Ryan couldn't make it. Ryan has no future. And, well, that came <laughs> up. <laughs> uh, one of the questions. Oh, did I, did I just do a joke you guys did on the podcast? <laughs> yes, yes we, you did, week, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. great. Oh, that's so weird because by now people have heard. It doesn't matter. Okay. People. <laughs> Here's the joke. <laughs> people. <laughs> Uh, okay, so one of the questions that we were talking about, though, I wanted, I asked everybody, uh, it was very cheerful, was, how do you think you're going to die? Oh, fuck. Uh, that was the general response. Yeah. Not by me. I knew I was going to die. What did yeah, you say, Dave? Dave was give spot me, on. Give me a little taste. What did you say, Dave? Uh, multiple, multiple ways of me. At the last second, I was just like, mother, f-, and then that would be it. <laughs> there was a lot of scenarios, but in the end, it was always that, yes. Yeah. Um... I'm such a shit driver that I can only imagine I'm just going to veer off the road into like. You're probably going to kill me. That was one yeah, of I'll my stories. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, motherfucker. I'm going to look over at you like, hey, Ryan, uh, trying to get your attention. Hey, stupid. Hey, wave at me. And then just veer in, like, veer into my lane. Ah, oh, you <laughs> motherfucker. And just take me off the road. <laughs> That's pretty great. That's and a then strong the cre- candidate in mine. Then the credits roll on both your <laughs> <Yeah>. life. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so we we, uh, we had an off topic this week. We're going to talk about food growing up, um, mainly stuff that we grew up eating. Like, just I, I'm sure for us, I mean, since the three of us, mostly going to be poor food, and then whatever Ryan ate. <laughs> right. I'm glad we're talking about food because I I would like to get into this. Keith, would you like to tell the people uh, the absurd diet that you're on right now? Uh, right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. So I'm gonna. This is, this is for 20 years from now when it's talking about this. Okay. So this is what's gonna kill Keith. Is his absurd diets that he goes on? First of all, I do not have absurd diets, sir. Dude, okay. I you're live eating, a clean and healthy lifestyle. You're eating nothing but potatoes. I'm right sorry now. I'm not putting Twinkies into a bowl, pouring milk on it, and calling it breakfast. <laughs> He's eating nothing but – Keith goes on these – tears where he'll just eat the same food constantly like when you're on a diet you kind of eat the way people would eat on day like 97 in a fallout shelter if there was a <laughs> nuclear blast it's like we got nothing but potatoes left guys sorry uh, what the fuck what, what read you, about you, it motherfucker <laughs> what were you eating you, can... you were on some sort of diet uh when you got pissed off and you broke your scale well yeah that was what made me that's that's what made me had to change my fucking <laughs> lifestyle was i was gross no you were eating something like n- nothing but tofu <laughs> I like could drop weeks. about 20 pounds on a good potato <laughs> diet. Don't you worry about that, Ryan. I could really... The Jenny, Jenny of the Crag could really uh, take a lesson from the from a uh-huh. potato diet. Uh-huh. Well, joke's on all y'all motherfuckers. Shit works. It's the Atkinson diet. Uh. <laughs> it's the Jenny Craig potato podcast. We're going to be talking about how to lose weight. And I can't fucking wait. I can't <laughs> wait until like a month from now when you guys are like, oh shit, does that work? I, I'm going to try it. Can I can I scallop them? <laughs> no, because you just got to eat just potatoes by themselves, man. There's, you don't put anything on them. It's very like, simple. Like apples? Nope, nothing. Just uh, What don't no, you understand saying, about just eat potatoes? <laughs> no, he's saying do you, you eat it them? like an apple. Can you oh, yeah. Them? No, you can cook them. Yeah, you cook them, boil them. I, yeah. Fuck you okay. guys. I'm not fucking explaining this to you. You guys can eat my shit. 
Well, it will. It probably looks just like a potato. <laughs> it looks weird. I'll give you that. It looks weird. I know how my ancestors poop looked. I'm just telling you that. Uh, that's what uh, the dysentery shit looks like. Holy oh. shit. All right. Food when we were kids. Let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers, I've never looked better in my life And I'm fucking eating shit from my friends <laughs> To be fair, I am not sitting in the room with you So I can't vouch how that's, good you that's look true. You look that's great true. And you got uh, the camera turned this off is, This is done, we're done with it. I don't, None of this matters You could have the bag <laughs> Much like my eyes. parents coming to me at 35 Trying to restore things We're done <laughs> <laughs> It's just not happening at this point, guys Oh, my Uh, God. All right. Let's start with the breakfast. What was your fucking go-to breakfast when you were kids? Okay, so I was Would it be surprising to you if it was Lucky Charms? (laughs) (laughs) Way more surprised if it was potatoes. (laughs) In a fucking bowl with milk. (laughs) Tateros! (laughs) I can tell you that, like, I don't remember any of the foods that I ate when I was, like, a little, little one. Obviously, like, my dad and mom split up when I was three. And every meal that I remember from that, like, it, I don't have any of them. Like, they're they're all gone because they're probably good and I was enjoying myself. Mm, but right. I, can, I can remember when I, my mom started dating my stepdad when I was about five and the looks I would get when I started eating. Uh, because In I general? Was, yeah, because you're so fat? Because I was a chubby little kid, oh. right? Oh. And so, like, he had... Uh, I remember... Where I, your eating issues come from? Oh. And so I got, like, the... Uh, you know, like the what are those big bars of wheat that? You oh, just, shredded oh, wheat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember so that. like, I fucking would, love that stuff. Yeah, so I, he would get me shredded wheat, and he would always like look at me when I went for the second scoop of brown sugar to put on it. Well, yeah, I would and, put at least half the bag. Yeah, on me it. too. That's the only way it was good. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I would go for a second scoop, and he's like, ah, no, you don't need that much. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay, okay. And then uh, my grandmother on my mom's side, she would, but like when I was, she was like babysitting my favorite food, and like the first food I remember eating was something called a jam jam and it was like these little graham cracker like or whatever like molassesy kind of cookie bready things Mm -hmm. with jam in the middle of it and i would shove like 12 of them in my face and uh (laughs) so here's how you should restart that story dave uh i'd like you to say uh when i was a kid i was a fat little fuck and my stepdad (laughs) used to actually (laughs) save my life and my grandma (laughs) continued to try and kill me (laughs) But, oh, that's, um, that's fair enough. Maybe I should have looked something up on the internet when I was younger. <laughs> uh, speaking of serious, so all another, I was looking for was a little bit of fucking love, Keith. Guess what side <laughs> I was getting that from? The brown sugar. Yeah. <laughs> brown sugar loves you, David. Coincidentally, David only hires black hookers <laughs> <laughs> and listens to the Rolling Stones while banging them. <laughs> Uh, I remember uh, Gremlins. You guys remember Gremlins cereal? I remember Gremlins. I was good. That's a whole thing is movie related cereal. Yeah, that was huge, right? Which would just leave your life forever, and I still like crave some of them. I think to it this still day. sort of happens. Like I see the Star Wars ones. Yeah. So getting back to what you were saying, you weren't allowed the sugar cereal. That was actually how my parents uh, babysat us. Yeah. So we would go to the grocery store, and we would be like, "Can we? Can we? Can we?" And they're like, "Yeah, go one each." And so they would do the grocery shopping while me and my Hellion brothers fist fought <laughs> over which fucking box of cereal we got to pick. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So we could pick whatever one we wanted just because it kept us occupied. One time, though, I do remember, like, full-on, like, grab-ripping matching in the fucking cereal went everywhere <laughs> in the store. Yeah. <laughs> that was a tasty beating. <laughs> uh, anyway, I remember one time getting uh, Gremlins because I fucking love that movie so much. <laughs> And it literally felt like a taste. And my parents were like, you better like this. Because they looked at it. And it's not, you know, like all they ever do with the movie ones, they take another cereal. Yep. And, and then they little... just call it whatever, right? Like C-3PO's were just Captain Crunch. Mr. T's they were all just Captain Crunch. Look like Captain have... Crunch got fucked over. Everybody's yeah. stealing <laughs> Captain Crunch. I love the shit of Captain Crunch. You know what? I didn't like any of those gimmicky, like Lucky Charms and like the stuff that was just plain white, plain gross cereal yeah, with yeah, marshmallows yeah. in mm-hmm. it. That shit didn't work. I never like. Yeah, I didn't like the cereal, the marshmallow ones very much. But the Gremlins yeah. one uh, was, I, I think they just took whatever was left with alphabets mm-hmm. and shit, and then put them <laughs> together, and it was the graveliest cereal I've ever eaten, and it went down my throat so it probably, badly. It sounded like pop rocks. Going oh down my god! Your and my pa- my dad could see it, and he's like, "How is it? Is it good?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's fucking delicious." <laughs> 
and I made the mistake, I can tell you, of eating that after midnight uh, will turn you into a diarrhea monster because that <laughs> stuff was a nightmare. I shit. Oh, my God. I remember waking up at, like, 3 in the morning and just I thought I was going to die. Uh, and I had gremlins. That's all I knew. Oh. That's oh, good stuff. Gross. That's that's thoughtful. I like that. As, as a cereal like, maker, I'm like, yeah, don't eat this after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was the commercial, just me screaming really should have on been, the toilet. Actually. Huh? That should have been their tagline. Don't eat it after midnight. Oh, that would have been great. Yeah, People yeah. would buy it. I, I probably it. bought it. It I probably it to was this a day. slogan, and I probably <laughs> bought it because of that. <laughs> oh, shit. What else? Yeah, I don't know. It was always cereals. What about, yeah. like, special mornings? Like, did you, like... Did you guys have a special routine? Like, Keith, I don't know. Like, every family, even the poorest and shittiest yep. of our families, yep. did you guys have, like, a weekend routine? Like, when it was, we like, did. yeah, like, hockey on Saturdays, kind of, like, it was hard to do. But, like, Sunday morning, what was the deal? Yeah, I, for us, it was more, like, kind of special occasions. We didn't get the big Sunday breakfast. My dad was actually good at making breakfast. That was mm -hmm. the only thing he could cook was Sunday breakfast. So, once, yeah, he would usually make, like, the bacon and eggs and stuff like that. It was pretty good. It was I, so no, funny. Like, Sundays were good. Same, man. If I was yeah. at my dad's house, my dad had a griddle. Like, he'd pocket out an electric griddle. He had, like, bacon and eggs. Like, he'd do the eggs in the, in the hard bacon shit. It was, like, the few moments of, like, wow, <laughs> this is what it feels like to be a family, right? Yeah, like, I thought amazing. I was a Walton for, like, two hours every week. <laughs> right. It was incredible. Yeah, and then he'd just throw the fucking bacon grease across the room or something. You know? <laughs> Somebody'd say something and set him off, and I would just exactly. uh, God damn, yeah. What, I'm trying to think. The only other one he has, he's got a thing at Christmas where he's got to have his mandarin oranges before we open. I think we yeah. talked about that on like, Yeah, that's a dad that thing. Other than that, yeah, maybe, right? Yeah, I don't know. I tried it. I think you guys one. will adopt that within the next five years. <laughs> when he dies? Paul, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's I'm, a prediction for you, Dad. I'd love to have my brother on this one time because I remember, like, I can remember this. And I was, like, maybe, I don't know, 15. And my brother might have been five. My brother was getting my dad sass on a, san on a Saturday or a Sunday morning. And, like, I knew it already. Like, Dad was making breakfast. Like, this shit was good. Just don't piss him off. And, like, right. let's mm -hmm. have a nice morning. And my brother was like, I'm not eating fucking scrambled or eggs oh. and bacon and shit like that. And my dad just went like sure thing and he literally fucking threw the griddle over and threw scott's breakfast i'd eat mine already because i got down there early and he like threw scott's plate into the garbage and just left and like he's make your own goddamn breakfast <laughs> i'll be honest i've never had one and i kind of wish i did i i've been kind of denied the dad flip it over and freak out you know <laughs> that's, that's I mean? a good like, power that's, move that's it a... is what did he say fair enough Yep, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. enough. Yep, <laughs> just and away you it. go. It's like your dad in the Christmas tree. That's, That's what I'm amazing. saying, yeah. <laughs> and the uh, the chair. I've never told that one either, the couch, but I'll, yeah, it's another one. We need a moving one. That's what we got to do. <laughs> I'll have some shit for that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other breakfast stuff. Like, it was usually just whatever, though. Like, my parents didn't make us breakfast. Like, it was just get up. Yep. Okay, school lunches then. Let's go to that. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys have to be magnificently shit. Well... I mean, that opens up a completely different conversation altogether is lunchboxes, too. The bomb-ass lunchboxes oh. that were available back in the day. Oh, I do, fuck yeah. I do my, miss my lunchboxes. My, oh, my greatest yeah. one. Great is, one. I might have uh, mentioned this before. But Hulk Hogan Rock and Wrestling. That That's was my great. fucking That's lunchbox. That's a good one. My buddy Scotty, a couple, uh, actually about a year ago, he found the Ultimate Warrior lunch bag, and it looks oh, like a barf sick. bag that you would see <laughs> on an airplane. Like it's just long and slender; you couldn't barely get a sandwich in it. Is it for when the Ultimate Warrior was trying to cut weight? <laughs> and anyway, it just, uh, he, yeah, he just found it in this pile. And like I still have it. I'm like, I'm gonna keep this forever because it reminded. I that's loved great. every moment of '80s lunches. I had a I would course take that I had to work every day. Yeah, I had a He-Man he was my He-Man yeah. lunchbox. I'd never get shit in my thermos other than make water. Like when yes. I think it was supposed to hold soup or like zoodles you or got, something. Yeah, yeah. Oh sorry. my god. I got, got so mad when you I You got saw those water kids. in your thermos? Okay, <laughs> oh, I, I got a that's, terrible that, one for that. So that makes me going sad. back to the lunchboxes. Okay. Fuck, I remember this. This was the greatest. I had generic blue. <laughs> I had that too. I had Everybody to else had cool yeah. ones, and I, I had nothing. I was like, God, I can't even. See, have you a could draw box. though. You could have drawn something I'm cool. Sure I, 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 could, I, I couldn't draw for shit. I so had to. I tried to, to put, lie to everybody and tell I tried them to put something. Garfield on mine, and it was just the saddest <laughs> fucking Garfield you could imagine. I hated Mondays, and every fucking day <laughs> after that. <laughs> 
no lasagna inside. No, no. But no, the thermoses. The Garfield, that's amazing. <laughs> but the thermoses, I do. Rem- I remember being so jealous of the kids who had parents. You know what I mean? Like, yep. I had them. You know what I mean? But I did not. If yeah. you. Because, like, yeah, they'd have, like, either the fucking zoodles. One kid used to have boiling water and then hot dogs in there. And then in a Ziploc baggie <laughs> were fresh buns. Sorry. He Come on. Hot dog. Yeah. In the fucking. And then it spread around my school. That became the cool thing. And I would still just not have. I would just have the boiling hot dog oh. water in my <laughs> thermos. That's I remember awesome. the worst one I got was I got. I used to always get green freshy. Here's the thing, kids. <laughs> you know you're poor. When you can't afford Kool-Aid brand mm-hmm. packets that were 13 cents mm-hmm. and you had freshy, freshy, with no sugar inside. Did it, I had it. The parrot was yeah. the mascot, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I knew freshy I really right. fucking Jesus well. Christ, I just got angry. Yeah. And then as I got older, we switched over to Juggers. Did oh, you guys have I, Juggers? No. Juggers were amazing oh, because God, I had no worst. front. I had no two. Like my whole front teeth. I got all my front teeth knocked out when I was like five, six, seven, whatever it was. Did you and ask for a different breakfast? I think I did. Something like that. I know I've, I know it involved getting my face smashed off a table. And fair enough. Else. Yeah, fair enough. And That's- anyway, but juggers, I could open with like my, my eye teeth, right? Like, right, go, right, right, right. You had to. Yeah, and, that was the only way to do it. God, they because- fucking, no matter what flavor you got, it was either purple iron, green yep. iron, red <laughs> iron, or all, gray iron. A zip. Yeah, they all had a tang to them, that's for sure. <laughs> what fucking company puts out a gray drink and thinks, <laughs> mm, this will catch on with the kids? My mom came home and showed it to us like we'd be happy. It well, was- here you go, guys. Look at this. They got a new flavor. I'm like, that's fucking gray that's the hot dog <laughs> water from the other kids <laughs> lunch <laughs> it was supposed to be coconut i think was it oh, or some shit like the that. worst part is i don't know <laughs> like i was when i like first started going to kindergarten my mom and again single mom went out she dropped me off at uh, her friend's house who had two kids and like i showed up there and they were like that mom was still preparing the lunches for the kids and like right. for mm-hmm. the day so i already knew i had a shitty like tuna fish sandwich and like that is pretty much it in a paper bag in my lunchbox with nothing else. And I'm watching these decadent things get prepared in both of these kids' lunchbox. I'm like, ah. Yeah. Oh. I remember uh. I didn't I I didn't understand why kids had two slices, uh, two or like any more than one slice of meat in their sandwich. <laughs> Having said that, you know every now and like it was a big fan favorite of ours in that house. The, like the three kids, a uh, bologna. Like bologna, oh, oh yeah, bologna so for days. So much bologna. Oh yeah, so I've much probably bologna. still got bologna in my intestine Absolutely, somewhere. Yeah. I haven't had that. I don't even like know if you can. Years. Is it still? Are you still able to buy it? Because I bypass it every time I go through that deli section. Where I'm like, is there still <laughs> here's bologna? The thing. Yeah, here's the thing. You can actually get like good bologna because the worst thing has come is you know my wife and I have done fine for ourselves here. My kids don't really have to go through juggers. Mm-hmm. My son loves bologna. It's because it's fucking delicious. It is delicious. <laughs> I fried it for him one time. And he's like, "This is the best." Like, he, I'll be like, "Do you want steak?" Bologna. Like, yeah, you can fr- fry me up some bologna. Bologna is the best part of poverty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give you that. Yeah. Now, you know that being said, though, on your forty yeah. seventh day, you start to wonder if there's more to life. Yeah. Well, granted. <laughs> You do Although, wonder if there's another side of the grass. Yeah. And then you add a little bit more ketchup, and you're like, nope, this Bologna is it. and ketchup sandwiches, man. That, that was, was the a fucking bane of my existence. Ugh. Yeah. I bane? Don't my... What are you talking about? That sustained me. <laughs> 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 I will say, I probably learned how to be social and sociable like and con other kids. Like I'm, I'm pretty good at talking to people nowadays, and I think it all comes down to uh, trying to convince somebody to trade me their Twinkie. <laughs> for like whatever was in the ashtray you know what i mean like before i left the house that day i got pretty good at it i'd be like i don't know you could take up smoking there's a little bit left on this one hey jacob i uh i noticed your backpack's broken well i got a roll of electric tape right here in my lunch (laughs) trade you ah this band-aid could sure help you out i wonder what kids did that had like gluten sensitivities and like nut allergies back in the day when I was eating my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. No, there's no such right, thing. Right. There's no such thing back then. We, then no, just, there was. There was. We kicked those kids the fuck out. Right. Those kids. <laughs> I remember there was two kids in our class who had peanut allergies. They both were already really unpopular. <laughs> Lunchtime. Hey, uh, no, 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 no. Everybody stop. Fucking Sue and John over there. You get out. 
<laughs> Go eat in the hall. <laughs> Go sit in the fucking hall with your goddamn stupid no peanut shit. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, that was Teachers exactly throwing peanuts at them. <laughs> That's exactly what happened in ours. They just chucked all the shit. Like the every school one. had the bald guy from Back to the Future as the principal. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, man, I wish. That guy gave a shit. <laughs> That's true. Oh, man. What else? Uh, okay, so what else in the lunches? Like, I'm trying to think. Lunches were crazy. Uh, I don't know. After a while, I started going home on my lunch myself. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't even, cause I hated getting a lunch. So I would tell my parents to be like, no, 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 don't worry. I've already explained how far away I lived. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was was about to say, like, was it not like, did you not need, you probably had to pack a lunch to go home for lunch. Look, I get it. You guys have only known me in my gross years. You needed a native American guide to get back and forth to school. (laughs) Did you not? You have no idea. I could run that thing in like probably seven minutes. Like just <laughs> bell goes ding because I wanted to make it home. Much like my entire life, it always revolved around TV. Mm, right. So if I got home, Flintstones was on at 12, uh, Leave it to Beaver at 1230. And I wanted to try and catch as much of both as I could. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, so I used to race in the door, grab whatever was around. Like I would just eat whatever, you know what I mean? Like fucking mm-hmm. either cereal or slap Leftovers. together. Or some kind of, yeah, exactly. Just yeah. something. Mm-hmm. I didn't care. I just wanted it was to watch great. TV. If you could get home in time to eat like some leftovers and like actually have a hot meal or something, like not even hot, but like a meal. Mm-hmm. That was yeah, I think best. it would have been a meal. I don't think I was heating anything up. I didn't give a no. shit. Yeah, no. 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 My mom made the mistake. She gave me a Ziploc bag full of soup once. You Seemed like a good kidding. idea at the time. And yeah, they do not. <laughs> they don't travel well in a child's well, backpack. What was the plan? She, she assumed it was gonna in a hard it top and box. Huff it? <laughs> <laughs> Huff the soup, son. <laughs> your mom was trying a new air breeze diet. <laughs> Just suck it in through your air. Um, hold on. Okay, so, well, here's that's another thing. I never had the Ziploc bags. I no? only had the fold-over sandwich bags. Like the yeah, super the, cheap oh, me too. One. Those yeah. yeah, so things, most of your bread would be like stale a little bit at the, the, end, the edges yeah, yeah. it's just a given yeah they're like that's like croutons just settle down just eat it <laughs> <laughs> out of both your parents who yeah. would you consider like from the age of 10 to 20 let's say or like whatever 5 to 15 sure. who is the best cook in the house oh boy hmm. i don't know hitler I could- or himmler right take your choice <laughs> <laughs> Because I get like I love my mother dearly, and my mom like prides herself on knowing a few recipes. My dad, right, could, right, right. My dad could cook the shit. Of, like I remember my dad's dishes. Mm-hmm. I remember like my mom makes a couple things that I fucking love. But like, yeah, my mom now being a single a mom, cook. like yeah, I while. there there was a lot of nuking, and I can tell you when I was fifteen. I was preparing myself a lot of Mr. Noodles, craft dinner, and mm-hmm. nachos. Oh, my God. I ate so many Mr. Noodles. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, here's a funny one that my brother would freak out if I didn't bring up. <laughs> Speaking of bologna, uh, because I used to babysit my brothers, right, till like seven or eight when my parents would get home um, and uh, drinking. And um, so <laughs> they, would, uh, they would always ask me to make them bologna cups. That's what I used to do. So I would take the bologna, yeah. you put it on a plate, take a sliced uh, piece of like American sliced cheese, Put it in the middle. Just put it in the microwave. Nuke it. The bologna will bowl up and heat the melted cheese in the middle like a little pot of cheese. Uh, that right. shouldn't make me nearly as hungry as it is right and now. Yeah. <laughs> guess what? It's fucking delicious. It's fucking delicious. No it kidding. Is, it was magnificent. I became the best cook in the house. There's no, no doubt about it. <laughs> now, in my mom's defense, I didn't expect Jamie a 16 Oliver can year eat old a dick. Make me a fucking a bologna cook. cup. Wow. <laughs> Your mom yeah, comes home and tries, like, what's this? Tries it, like, oh, starts, like, I failed as a parent. <laughs> yeah, she needed the baloney for that. <laughs> uh, the nine homemade stitches in my brother's head should have tipped her off. Um, but it didn't. Okay. It really did. The baloney's <laughs> what did it. It was the baloney. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, One more on lunches. Uh, yeah. Kind of a similar thing to the cereal. There would be a movie promotion to go with, uh, like, Alpha Getty and Zoodles. Okay. There would be, like, the E.T. pasta. Right. And, like, the Alpha Getty They still shit. do that one. I see that for the kids. Yeah, there's, like, Shrekios or right, whatever. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, I, okay. So, speaking of that stuff, did you eat a lot of that shit, Dave? 
You know what? I was, I was about to say, because I grew up with my cousin Chris, and, like, he grew up poor. And, like, we we grew up poor, but Chris, like, had, like, a single mom with three kids all by herself making yeah, yeah. A, making it hard, right? Like, that's, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a tough I was going to say, like, do you ever, like, br- do you remember going over for lunch or, like, when you're playing at someone's place and, like, you remember, like, fuck, man. The lunch yeah. is not the same. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I know I'm poor, but, like, ugh, this is tough. But, like, I love the shit of my any game. But, like, we, like, ate the shit out of Chef Boyardee. Like, right. everything was, like, yep. ravioli or something like that. It was good. And shit was good. So, mm-hmm. okay, funny story about that. So, I remember uh, I was probably seven, maybe eight. Like, I was really young. Like, I barely remember this story. Um, seven or eight years old, and my mom was making uh, the spaghetti and meatballs, the Chef Boyardee one. Yep. Um, so, she's already nuked it or put it in the pot or whatever, right, and heat it up. And I was playing outside with my G.I. Joes or something like that. Anyway, I came across a worm. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to put this in my brother's fucking <laughs> SpaghettiOs. So I end up gathering up about, I don't ooh. know. This, ha- this has the promise of comedy. I'm right, not right. Yeah, 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 of course. It, it goes where you think it's going. Uh, so I go inside and I punch my mom in the mouth. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I get about, I've probably got, I don't know, eight to ten worms or something like that. Jesus. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe I'm less. I, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Okay. I've got a few. Any worms is a lot of worms. That's right. Any worms more than one is too many in your fucking yeah. SpaghettiOs. <laughs> it's a nice side dish to complement a potato. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking probably all protein, brother. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I take these worms and I put them in my brother's and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get them because my mom's just making it for me and my brother. Right. You know what I mean? Like I, they've already probably had their real food. Mm-hmm. And Crack. so... Uh, so I put them in there real quick and I stir it up and then I go to tell my brother it's lunchtime and he's playing his fucking Teddy Ruxpin or something, right? And I'm like, no, come on, we got to go. And all I hear is, what the fucking fucking holy shit? <laughs> Fair enough. You know what I mean? So my dad's <laughs> come out. My dad is losing it. He is spitting. He's throwing. <laughs> he's fucking. He's, he's, there's fucking worms in the goddamn spaghetti <laughs> starts cussing up my mom like she can't cook <laughs> you think i came clean fuck no, no. i'm terrified at that point I, was, I had it all worked out in my head that i was gonna sit down at the table my brother was gonna lift one up in his spoon and be like what and then everybody be like oh keith that's hilarious my dad came so close to punching my mom in the mouth <laughs> <laughs> so he's losing his shit eventually he gets to the point where he's calling up the grocery store and yelling at them because he's found this worm inside their spaghettios i never told them i was like i just realized today that i just let that go to this day my dad was probably won't eat that shit well, he's probably like well there was a fucking bunch of worms in that you probably remember more of it as like the month your mom like stayed with her aunt for a month or so <laughs> I'd love to tell you that that was the one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the baloney cups. It was pretty okay. daily. Yeah, it was baloney cups that set her off. <laughs> Holy oh, Christ. Yeah, that was great. It was That's... fucking pure mental. And my brother's like, oh, what were you saying? I was like, nothing. Just shut up. Don't eat nothing. <laughs> He's like, why'd you want me to eat dinner or lunch so bad? I'm like, so here's the other thing, too. Uh, kind of on my dad, because that was for me and my brother. Right. He just right? stuck in and started eating I don't know it. what you guys, my dad was a vulture. Like, he would just swoop in and just take our food, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, hey, this is kind of on you, man. Like, I, it was, you already had your lunch. This is for me and my brother. Yeah. Hey. You got worms, bro. Uh, it's, it's probably still in his stomach, fuck. Yeah, I, no, he was he he was like making himself like throw up and stuff. It was crazy. <laughs> it was really funny. Like it was hilarious. Like I was like, ah, prank, April Fools, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the yeah. worst? What's the worst thing a grandparent ever said at a dinner table? Oh wow! Holy shit! Okay, um, <laughs> changing course. Boy, I don't know. My my. Oh, I can think of mine instantly. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, when I was young. I uh I always like comedy and I wanted to be a comedian growing up. So well <laughs> this, this is as close as I've come. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> Working on uh, it. so just grandma's <laughs> over. I love my grandma. My grandma was awesome. She's uh, That would explain your final destination thing when you're gonna <laughs> die at forty one. <laughs> <laughs> Working on it. <laughs> They're going through the table, it's like, Well, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I'm all shy. I'm like, Oh, I don't know. And my mom's like, Ryan wants to be a comedian when he grows up. She just oh. looks at me and she goes, No. 
<laughs> That's it. <laughs> Moving on. on. All right. Nikki wants to be a teacher. Yeah, she's got that way with people. And I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That reminds, yeah, that one. So just that, I remember if we ever went out to dinner, like it was pretty rare, mm -hmm. um, but we used to go to a couple places. And I remember. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm even thinking about going out for dinner. Oh, oh there's shit. a whole subgenre <laughs> yeah, there. That's, yeah, yeah. Let's get into it. Well, just talking about that, like I remember when they would come around and be like, anybody got any room for dessert? And that's when you give the glance over to your dad. Mm -hmm. And your dad's <laughs> just like, no, you fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, no, I guess I don't. Or be like, hey, Tiger, you look like you could go for a milkshake. Balancing rod over your dad. <laughs> I don't think he needs a milkshake. I'm going to have six beers with dinner, though. <laughs> I remember one time we were at a, uh, I don't know, it was like an Olive Garden or something like that. It was my dad and his new wife, my my his second wife, That's my, ste my stepmom. <laughs> and, uh, and Oh, I fucking hope this ends with my little, flipping a My plate. little brother was... <laughs> My, my little brother was like just three or, or something like that. I don't know. It was just. Right, the, right, right. And then it was her, like her family. There was like four or five. There's like eight of us. And I just finished dinner and like I'd order overheard them say like and I saw on the menu. I'm like, oh, there's this fucking fudge Sunday that I really like. Oh, my God, it looks good. And so I'm like, I, excuse me, I'm going to the washroom. And I was a kid. Right. So <laughs> but I run over and I go to the washroom. I come out and I like I wait around and I kind of find my server. I'm like, can I please have the fudge brownie? It's like, oh, I don't know. I think there's something like my dad said it was OK. Oh, and Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave. I was, again, I'm not a slender young fellow. No. I'm not <laughs> thinking with my head. This is a fat kid plan. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like what a and plan. I went, I Jesus. And I saw them starting to look around for me as they're, because they're waiting for the bill, and the bill finally shows up, and it's got the Sunday, but I haven't made my way back yet. I asked the server, I'm like, is it okay if I just eat it here? Like, I'm <laughs> off by like. <laughs> Are you eating it on like the hostess table? Yeah, like Fuck. I'm off by it, like trying to eat it here. <laughs> this little finally, she's, she's like, the no, staff I think. Table. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to eat it, and like she's gonna bring it to the table just to, like so we find like, nope, okay. And finally, she brings it back, and no one says anything. It's just shame. Like, is this okay? <laughs> My dad's just like, yeah, well. Yeah, it's already ordered and made, so they're not going to say send it back. But that's so right. I, that's right. And I'm just like fucking aces, and I ate. I got to eat it. So I <laughs> that's all that you carry. Like this is going to be the best ass kicking Sunday I ever had. <laughs> I had the spoon and ready while she was coming out for it too. Like oh I waited God. there for it <laughs> because I didn't want to. I I wanted to eat it before it got to the table, but she's like, no, I should probably bring it to the table. I'm like, I oh, can't say more shit about the way I eat clean. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. I can't believe the planning that went into wow, that. That's that is, fucking yeah, that's incredible. A fucking heist. Wow. Hey, dude, that is, hey, that is the I've die always hard. been a clever motherfucker. I've just <laughs> that is the been... diehard of dinner, <laughs> children's dinner experiences. <laughs> <laughs> you sit back down, yippee ki yay, motherfucker, and just start eating your Sunday. I I've never had like one of my stepmom's family members properly look me in the eye since. <laughs> years ago <laughs> you know what i mean like we're on a I good 30 it. 30 years like we're on a good oh, 30 that's years great. Well, that's because you're having a sunday like 60 percent of but the time it's just like they like <laughs> even as a kid like they good like old dave sunday thompson <laughs> yeah they lost a lot of respect for me i've never oh. i've never been the kid that they could look in the eye properly oh, anyway shit. sorry yeah that's yeah. great mm -hmm. right. i'll tag on to that real quick just uh, talking about poor kid and trying to get your way with the f the, the gross food. Mm -hmm. um, I remember just – oh, fuck. It's so funny. that I didn't even – I wouldn't remember this. Went to the donut store. My parents uh, – I had, we had our allowance. My brother and I were like, let's go get – they used to have these jumbo donuts. Mm -hmm. Like oh. at the one store. I don't remember. They were, but they were all of our allowance. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like $1.50 or $2 or whatever the fuck that was. Yep. So we get there. My brother, sure enough, gets his jumbo donut. But me, poor kid, looks over and sees – day old bag of donuts for the same Fuck price <laughs> live my life off a of day old donuts. Too. Uh, yeah. that's what i'm saying so Me i'm like too. wait i can have this whole fucking bag of donuts mm -hmm. and it's the same price she's like yeah yeah so i was like hell yeah so my brother's <laughs> laughing at me i ate the whole fucking bag <laughs> and then i got home and i have like one left my dad's like what did you get i'm like and my brother's telling him he's laughing you know what i mean he's like you bought a whole bag of donuts he's eating the whole fucking thing and my dad's like, so my dad starts calling me Keithy Bag of Donuts. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys are just jealous, whatever. If you guys had them. <laughs> it went long, furious, and everywhere. It was honestly horrendous. 
So Keithy bag of donuts stuck forever after that. I was a grown fucking man, and I lived in like one of my first apartments. And right next to me was a uh, country style donuts. Yeah, that was where they had the, the day. Well, yeah, I learned. Uh, I went there one night just to grab a coffee or whatever, and I discovered that after nine, all the donuts were half price because they stopped making oh, them. Okay. So yeah, a couple times a week there would be Ryan at fucking nine oh five. And it was always this game. I'd bring them home like, okay, I'm not going to eat these all tonight. <laughs> By coincidence, I would just, 905. <laughs> I would enjoy the first three and then just feel shittier and shittier about myself oh, yeah. with every one until, yeah, the next day they, they weren't there anymore. <laughs> Two-day-old two day old bag of donuts. Is, yeah, I still can eat them, but yeah. Dinners are crazy, right? Like the only time my parents, I think, gave a shit. Sundays we used to have the big. I think that was a big deal, right? Like Sunday night dinner. Yeah, we had the same dinner every Sunday. Yeah, it was how always did, the same for us. Just garbage roast beef and. Yeah, how did yeah. roast beef become so popular? Like, let's char a piece of. I think it was the roast beef people trying to be like, guys, we got to move some fucking units. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sunday meals. <clears throat> how, do you sell the, how do you sell a neck of a cow? All right, let's turn it on roast beef. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, ours wasn't good. My, like I said, my mom is a really good cook now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I mean? Like, but I mean, at the time, it was just garbage. But again, eh, you're 16 years old. You're probably not got great chef skills yet. You guys, did you work at like I did in my house? Like, my dad would have the electric knife and like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. All the carving stuff like that. knife and stuff. Yeah. Then he would put it down in the middle of the table, and there would be the one clearly fat ass piece, and <laughs> everybody get in there with their forks. It was like the Royal Rumble, man. Right, like, just yeah, trying. Yeah. Yeah. not to get that fucking yeah, grizzle yeah. piece i there was three boys and then yeah. my dad you know what i mean and my mom just sitting back what about just eating in general like you said like everybody used to just jam their fork in there right like we had my parents were crazy weird about like dinner rules right you know what i mean like no answering the phone like the phone would go off and every, your dad would just glare <laughs> at you like don't you fucking dare I'm like, Dad, no girl has called me. What if? What if, Dad? And he's like, we both know that's not who this is. That's My dad would sit by the phone. He was the gatekeeper. Yeah, want to get to yeah, the phone. Yeah, that rule was, never was, existed was... in my house. Don't you worry about that. Right, right. <laughs> Funny, it never came up in my case. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. This is Emma. <laughs> uh, I remember a big thing for my dad, though. With, like, look, I mean, it's very strange. And I don't know what it is because, you know, my fr- my kids have friends over. And for the most part, they're all really good. But every now and then you'll get a kid who just has, like, piss poor manners and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like, right. Jesus Christ. Like, I grew up the craziest of poor. Now, admittedly, because maybe because I come from, like, a really hard British cold family, like, that was engraved into them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, ingrained into them. But, like, like we were very big on our manners at the supper table. Mm-hmm. You know, like, even even at uh, parties or friends, like, they'd be amazed. They'd be mm-hmm. like, holy shit, I thought this was going to be a shit show. Good job, <laughs> Keith. Like, you, Christ. <laughs> Everything else is a fucking disaster, but dinner I do quite well. He's biting kids. But that's right, yeah. His elbows I, aren't on the table. So yeah, that's yeah cool. I wipe my mouth with the napkin. <laughs> gently. Uh, anyway, so my dad would have this thing. If you ever even just accidentally smacked your lips... At our table. Oh, okay. Ballistic. I know a lot That's of people. I know a lot of moment. people. That's their thing. But yeah. like the tiniest, right? Like, I mean, look, my kids are all very good about it. I'm very good about it. But just like you'd be eating a piece of food and just like a, that much. And he, he would just glare at you like, motherfucker. You know, you're like, okay, <laughs> sorry, Jesus. Wow. So that's, that's the, the, the start of this. One day we're having a uh, little barbecue out back. Uh, <laughs> my brother brings his friend Junior over. And uh, Junior's going to stay for lunch. My dad's like, oh, awesome. He likes Junior. Junior's a great kid. So we all sit down. We're having burgers. And it, it just, it starts. <laughs> all you hear is. <laughs> and, like, I'm not even talking, like, a little bad. You're, like, to the point where everyone in my family <laughs> just <laughs> stops. Puts their food down. Yeah. No, yeah. I like, I just looked at him. I glared out at my dad. <laughs> my dad does the slow hez- head raise up <laughs> and just looks over at my brother who invited him. Yeah. And my brother's like, oh my oh, God, yeah. I have no idea. Him. He vouched for this motherfucker. That's right. Yeah. yeah He's yeah. like, I can't fucking do anything to this kid. And so my dad's just like, and the whole meal. And the best part is Junior's like, can I have another one? And my dad's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That macaroni salad's real good, too. Can I have more? Sure you can. Sure you can. <laughs> Jesus. Can I sit beside you? 
<laughs> Can I also have this molasses on the table? <laughs> How about a popsicle? Can I have a popsicle? It was amazing. Like, my dad, he's got this weird thing, right? Like, all the putting on the faces and stuff. So he gets, all right, Junior, we'll see you later, buddy. I have a good one. Door. Never a fucking again. <laughs> Never. What the fuck is wrong with you bringing that fucking my brother? I didn't know. I didn't know. It's like holy Christ. Because I think he slept over, so we got a couple meals out of that. You know oh. what I mean? <laughs> no, I think he wanted to. I remember he was like, he's like, yeah, we should have a sleepover. And I was like, oh no, I don't, mm, I don't know if tonight's the night. <laughs> ah, I don't. Mm, yep. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god, so hot dogs. Did you guys have good hot dogs or like boiled water hot dogs? They were the fucking boiled grossest. water all the way. Easiest oh. thing. Pre microwave and like now okay. you gotta cut your hot dogs. You gotta cut your grapes. Yeah. And you can. I'm gonna barf just thinking about these fucking mm. hot dogs. So too poor for hot dogs. The cheapest food on the planet. Chicken dogs. We used to have those <laughs> oh, chicken wieners. God. Oh, you know what? The only thing grosser than a chicken wiener is boiled chicken wieners. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you boil a, a piece beak? of bread? How do you boil beak meat? <laughs> Seriously. And did you guys, I didn't even know hot dog buns were a thing until like hot dog day at school. I just thought it was, oh, on, no, I thought you buns. put hot dogs yeah. on oh, bread. Oh, hot yeah. dog day at school was a fucking dream come true for this It really kid. was great. Remember yeah. just thinking, how do they make these so much better than at home? Like? Yeah, they're just made. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they do it. It's just easy. You just cook them. Uh so what was like, all right, let's try to like maybe end off with this. What was the one meal that your parents taught you how to make that you made when you were like a teenager that you can con completely contribute to either your diabetes or your obesity? <laughs> because I can contribute. Like my mom taught me how to make a plate of nachos. Right. Oh, she shit. she had got the old El Paso round chips. Now, old El Paso chips. I don't know if you know this, but if you eat them plain, they're about as thick as a piece of cardboard. They're right. <laughs> you can load up as much cheese and as sh like so we tiny a, food shovels. Yeah, I right. Know, yeah, we would yeah. get a full and like there's no bend to them. They're like at the time they were just these big round circular nacho chips. Mm -hmm. And so I would put them on a full pizza pan, pretty much a half brick of cheese and mm -hmm. like bacon or whatever and like so uh, maybe a, something that was green to give it some color a full thing of salsa and a full thing of sour cream i made that self i made that for myself when i was like in my teens probably like three out of five nights out of a school <laughs> week and you're a happy man well no i was happy until i started having to take ducalax to take a shit because <laughs> about two weeks later <laughs> Hey everybody, it's uh, Dave here. I think we all get the gist of where I'm headed with this story. Um, you know what, for the sake of expediency, why don't I just take my track out and we'll just listen to Ryan and Keith's reactions. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you should have eaten gremlin cereal, man! <laughs> yeah, and it goes on a bit more like that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> so long, girls listening. <laughs> we'll miss both of you. Okay, so yeah, uh, we're done. Uh, let's uh, move on. You mentioned bringing shit back from the States. I was staying with Keith for like a month before I moved to Toronto. Uh, and uh, you guys weren't home. I don't know where. I think you're out with the kids or whatever. I just get back from the gym and I'm like starving. I got a, a sub. And I go into the fridge and there's Cherry Coke Zero in there. That's right. And I'm like, oh, fuck, sweet. This is delicious. It's good. So I have one with my sub and so good. You know, I'm going to have another one. <laughs> yeah. So I had two, you know, which was a bit, you know, presumptuous of me as a <laughs> guest who was staying it. there. And uh, Keith comes down. I'm like watching something on my laptop later. He comes up to me and says, hey, Raya, do you uh, – drink the cherry coke zero and i'm like yeah he's like you know we can't get that in canada like a family friend <laughs> bought that for angie at like the duty free shop at the border and uh it's like the only thing in the world she likes <laughs> myself included <laughs> she likes cherry coke zero way more than you it's true way more than not you. anymore now she doesn't touch any of that shit but you're right she at the time i yes. felt so funny i had two get, nobody cared nobody i had cared. two it was more just i was trying to just let you know hey <laughs> eh, oh just, no you know no no I'll get you something else no Keep Keith, what you had in delivering that message was a little bit of schadenfreude. 
and I respect <laughs> that. I enjoy I enjoy the shit out of those conversations. I, I have can't no wait qualms. to tell Ryan this. I, oh, please tell me Ryan drank those fucking coke. Oh God. Please it, tell me that was Ryan. I know about five steps into my walk down to start those conversations. I'm like, you don't need to do this. You don't need to. It's probably best <laughs> if you don't. But like, I can't. So I'm like, hey, hey, man. Uh, I, I, this I is hard for me. <laughs> 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 oh, so oh amazing <laughs> ah, toy, 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 oh toy. shit I don't, anything else like what else was there like what what else do we want to talk about oh uh, dude there's food. there's Fuck. so many suppressed memories about food oh, you know God. what we'll save one we'll do a big like we'll do a big like kind of holiday meals one with yeah, everybody it'd be really way. good because i've got a ton of trauma from that but like i just <laughs> Yeah, I want. I want to hear more from racist grandpa who yeah, can't decide exciting. where to sit. That one's exciting. He needs a yeah. spinoff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay. Uh, amazing. Anything else, Dave? You got anything else you want to bring up? Uh, no, I brought it all up when I lost all my weight. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, any cheese string or anything you want to throw into the mix? I'm satisfied. Well, there's something you didn't say. <laughs> uh amazing okay well that's gonna do it everybody uh sorry for dave's poop talk <laughs> that's i don't even know what to say about that nobody's been listening ever since no yeah, 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 we, yeah we just dropped off anybody has any confessions they want to get out of the way <laughs> now's the time <laughs> air your grievances tell my mother what she's really like <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody we'll see you next time bye-bye bye-bye <laughs> make her cry <laughs> Funny because you told me like a week ago, you're like, man, my lifts have gone down. I, it's because you got no fucking protein. Uh, dip, 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 dip. Oh, you got no protein, hold up, man. Hold up. Okay. That was before this. Okay. That was before this. Okay. Uh, I'm sure. Weak as a kitten, though. We'll give you that. Like, as soon as I started the potato <laughs> thing, making the switch, weak as a kitten. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, thought I was going to pass out a couple times. Uh, it, it's fucking proven. Look it up. Hey, go check it out. It's fine. Look, I'm not going to look it up. I went from fucking 270 pounds to 205, and now I'm down to two. I'm good. Don't worry about me how I eat. I eat clean. I eat fucking healthy. Goddamn, what are we doing? What is this? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? I don't like this at all. Fuck! Man. I fucking found my spot. You found my goddamn spot I don't like. Starch makes you cranky. <laughs> Get that man, get that man some cheese and protein and mix that. <laughs> oh, I, I miss cheese so much right now. Uh. So much. This old heart, sweetheart of mine, they'll lead me every time. It's fallen apart from my mind. I gotta leave this all behind. And you tried to complain when you know that it ain't the same. Yeah, you tried to complain when you know that it ain't There's a girl down the hill whose father's taken ill, and I mean to comfort her. I can't bear to see her sad I know she loves her dad Almost as much as I love her